this is a summary of capital budgeting techniques. So either we accept or be indifferent or reject the project. And then in case of mutually exclusive projects, what will be the ranking of this project? Which project shall we accept based on each capital budgeting tool? So we start with our net present value. So the benchmark for net present value is zero. We will accept the project if NBV is bigger than zero. We will be indifferent if NBV is equal to zero. We will reject if NBV is lower than zero, which means negative. If we have mutually exclusive project, we will choose the one with a higher NBV. Our second capital budgeting tool is profitability index. We will accept if profitability index is bigger than one. We will be indifferent if profitability index is equal to one. We will reject if profitability index is lower than one. If we have mutually exclusive projects, we will choose a higher profitability index. Then we have internal rate for return. We will accept if internal rate for return is bigger than WAC. We will be indifferent if internal rate for return is equal to WAC. We will reject if internal rate for return is lower than WAC. Our ranking criteria will be higher IRR. Then we have modified internal rate of return because we know that internal rate of return has one major drawback. It assumes that all cash flow generated will be reinvested as the same higher IRR. Therefore, we have MIRR, modified internal rate of return. So we will accept if MIRR is bigger than WAC. We'll be indifferent if MIRR is equal to WAC. We will reject if MIRR is lower than WAC. If we have mutually exclusive project, we will choose higher MIRR. Now we can make a relationship between IRR, MIRR, and WAC. Accept if IRR is bigger than MIRR is bigger than WAC. We will be indifferent if IRR is equal to MIRR is equal to WAC. Reject if IRR is lower than MIRR is lower than WAC. Then we have payback period. And with payback period, this consider a subjective measure because I need to ask each investor, how long would it take to get your money back? So some investors will say that I'd like to get my money after one year. Others will say five years. Others will say seven. Others will say 10, 12, 20. Therefore, I need to compare my payback period. If it's bigger than a specific period, we'll accept. If it's equal to a specific period, we'll be indifferent. If it's lower than a specific period, we will reject. So if we have mutually exclusive projects and we need to choose project based on payback period, so all the time, the shorter is better. Discounted payback period is the same. I need to compare my discounted payback period with a specific period, which is subjective. It differs from one investor to another. So if discounted payback period is bigger than a specific period, we'll accept. If discounted payback period is equal to specific period, we'll be indifferent. If discounted payback period is lower than a specific period, we will reject. And if we have mutually exclusive project and we need to choose one, the shorter is better. Then we have accounting rate for return. Also it's subjective measure, which means I need to check with each investor what is the required rate of return, which differs from one investor to another. That's why it's subjective. So I will need to compare accounting rate for return. If it's bigger than required rate for return, accept. If it's equal to required rate for 10 will be indifferent. If it's lower than required rate for 10 reject and the higher the better. Therefore, we could say that NBV, profitability index, IRR and MIR are objective measures. What do we mean by objective measures? It means that we have a benchmark for our decision rule. For example, NBV all the time, I compare it against zero. Profitability index, I compare it against one. IRR and MIR, I compare it against WAC. That's why we could say that all the time, if NBV is bigger than zero, profitability index will be bigger than one, IRR will be bigger than WAC, MIR will be bigger than WAC, IRR will be bigger than MIR, it will be bigger than WAC. The same for indifferent. If NBV is equal to zero, profitability index must be equal to one, IRR must be equal to WAC, MIR must be equal to WAC, IRR must be equal to MIR must be equal to WAC. We can apply the same concept to reject decision. If NBV is negative, lower than zero, profitability index must be lower than one, IRR must be lower than WAC, MIRR must be lower than WAC, IRR must be lower than MIR must be lower than WAC. Then for our payback period, discounted payback period and accounting rate for term, they are considered subjective measures. What do we mean by subjective measures? It means that they don't have a benchmark. I need to go and ask each investor how long would like to get your money back or what's the required rate for return you would like to get. It differs from one investor to another and that's why it's subjective.